Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Megabase. It's actually been quite a bit of time since I was last playing this. Um, like, a month. So, actually probably not quite a month, but at least two or three weeks. So, we'll have to get back into the swing of things. But I do remember that next on the to-do list was a... I guess companion to my green circuit build here. Um, to get the next set of circuits, we need some plastic. So we're going to build some um, oil refining. So I've got this here, thirty-five and a half thousand percent, with an extra like nineteen thousand percent oil over there. A uh, bunch of coal around, and even some not bad copper deposits, so I can turn it straight into red circuits afterwards as well. Uh, that is here compared to our green circuit so a little bit close to the base um still a long way away from the base remember this is literally as far as i can zoom out um but anyway uh i've done a little bit of clearing with the octotron um a bit of a quick check of power i think we're doing all right there everything is running so that is looking good to my eyes I have already picked up some materials. I've got some pipes, some belts, some other stuff. Um, plus I've got a bunch of things in my inventory as well. Um, oh, and also, um, since I last played, or at least since I last updated, the uh, Spidertron Extended mod, which I'm using, has introduced another Spidertron by the looks of it, called an Immolator. So I'm currently researching that. I guess we'll have a bit of fun with that later. Right, so I want to send you... Yeah, there-ish will do. Uh, and I'll just send you there until... a fluid count of some kind. I think that just means you go there and wait. Anyway, back to this again. Right, here we are. Uh, I'll just make sure that that isn't going to go anywhere, just in case. Right, so I guess the first thing to do is get down some pump jacks on these guys. Um, okay, I don't see any more. How many is that? That's 32 pump jacks. So let's go and grab them from... Here. 32 exactly. Should I grab that lot as well? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, what does that say? Expected 221 per second. Just for that one. Okay, so just by hooking all of these up to... Uh, a circuit network. Uh, it lets me see the expected oil per second that I will get. Um, and it looks like it comes out to about three and a half thousand per second. Now, a pipe can, in theory, have six thousand per second put through it. But that is just for a pipe of, like, length one. So I may want to actually split this up into several sections. Hmm. Right, so checking a little bit closer on the Factorio wiki, you can have a pipe length of 200 between pumps before your throughput drops down below 1,000 per second. Um, so I think that's what I'll go for, which means I want like three and a half pipes. I can probably get away with three pipes here, actually. Uh, in fact, if I do... If I assume I'm getting the three and a half thousand per second, um, yeah. If if I if I want to get it to exact, if I want to get it down less than three pipes worth, I can't have any pipes longer than seventeen uh, meters between pumps. So yeah, just by putting in that fourth one, it basically means I can make the pumps as long as I want. Well, up to up to slightly, uh, up to around the 250-ish meters mark. 
so yeah, if I split this into four, how many did I say I had? I have 32. 32 goes into four nicely, which is eight. Um, so if I split this into eight, so what's that? There's eight there, so if I have a pipe, I don't have any pipes on me. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, so if I have a pipe sort of connecting those eight, and then that's another eight, that's nice and convenient. And then, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then that should be eight up there as well. Okay, so I'll hook those into four separate outputs. Alright, so I think that is now everything hooked up as it needs to be. We've got our four sections of eight. Um, so let's see if I disconnect that and that. So this is one of our sections of eight. That is producing 2.8 thousand. Oh, that's, yeah, there we go. 795 per second. Um, I need to reconnect the power, but not the cables. There we go. We'll do something similar down here. Um, so this should be a section of eight. 589 oil per second on that section. And then this one is a little bit more complex. Let's, um, if I take out that, move that up a bit. There we go. And disconnect that. Well, actually, you two. Should be on a separate network. There we go. Okay, so yes, those eight are on their own network with 589 oil per second. These eight in the middle, 1.1 thousand per second. Uh, okay, I might I might move them around a little bit, um, and then these want to be reconnected via this one, and we're getting 951 oil per second up there. So 589. That's 1.1 thousand. Yeah. I think maybe if I tie in, let's see, how much are you giving out? 68.1, 54.8. Uh, let's see, this one up here, 183 per second. Instead of putting that in this section of 8, I will do that, which will effectively put it in with this section of 8. Eight. So now instead of two eights there, we've got a seven and a nine. Uh, I'll rejig the cable connections. Okay, so now we've got 772, 977, 951, and 795. Okay. Those come through these four pipes coming along this way, which then go into four tanks. Now, the tanks are actually mixed over here. I'm hoping that will kind of balance things out a little bit because, you know, not all of these are perfect. Um, and then I have four lines, which should be effectively one quarter the sum of these four which was about three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand divided by four is 875. Okay. Now we need to process that. So if we remember, did I actually pick up, oh, I only picked up two oil refineries. I thought I picked up a couple of stacks. Yeah. Um, if we do advanced oil processing, 
stupid tree. How many is that? That is 21, that's too many. Okay, so yes. If we do advanced oil processing, which is this recipe here, um, well, firstly, the ratio, uh, I did a video on this a while back. Um, if you can't be bothered, you can also find it on the Factorio wiki. Ratio to do this properly without modules is 20 refineries to 5 heavy cracking to 17 light cracking if you want to turn everything into petrol which is what I do want to do at the moment uh, so 20 of these guys now one of these guys uses 100 crude oil in 5 seconds so it uses 20 crude oil in 1 second we've got 20 of them so we're using 20 times 20 oil per second, so 400 crude oil per second. And remember, each of these is a little over 800. So each one of these pipes can support more than, but is going to support 40 refineries. Now, this is unmoduled. Remember, I don't have mass module production at the moment. That is what this is all gearing towards getting the circuits to make modules uh, once I do get modules maybe we'll come back and revisit this but that's a maybe with a, a, a big stonking great asterisk at the end of it um, all right so I don't think I bought enough of these because we've got four times 40 I need 160 oil refineries um, yeah I suspect I may need to go back and get some more stuff what have I got in here uh, so, yeah, I need 160 oil refineries. I need um, 40 of the heavy cracking ones. So I've, I've got enough for that, at least. There's 40 right there. And then I need 136. Um chemical plants for the light oil cracking so so effectively I need to go back and fill this up with chemical plants and oil refineries uh, is there anything else that I can do while I'm here I guess I could connect it to power um, but yeah I don't need to do that all right so more chemical plants more oil refineries how am I doing for pipes? I think I'm alright, actually. Mind you, these setups do use an awful lot of pipes. Let's do one of them. And figure out exactly how much stuff I need. And then I can go back and collect enough materials for another seven. Okay, so I've done something a little different to how I normally do it. Um, I've set things up in very much a one, then the next, then the next way. Um, so usually I do this kind of setup where I've got my I've got my 20 refineries there and then five heavy crackers and 17 light crackers like that and kind of separate everything out but over here uh, you can see what I've done if I just look at this one uh, so it takes in the water and the oil from the bottom the heavy oil uh, comes out pretty much straight away and then splits off side to side and then I've kind of evenly spaced these five heavy crackers um, evenly spaced so as I hopefully don't have to worry too much about um, you know, pipe throughput and backing up and weird fluid mechanic stuff. Um, and then... Uh, ooh, I've just noticed there's a extra pipe there that doesn't want to be there. And there, and there, because I copied and pasted a bunch of this. Uh, yeah, so the heavy oil comes out and splits off side to side. The light oil basically skips past the heavy crackers, but then joins in with it on this row here where it goes into the light crackers and the petroleum uh, skips under both of them and then joins the output from the light oil crackers. So 
what I'll do, um, let's see if I can copy that, make a blueprint, put it in there. Uh, I'll just put it on my hotbar as well, actually, so we can see each one of the... That's not right. I've got one too many... Um, yeah, I've got one too many oil refineries. Okay, well, we'll take one off this end then. All right, a couple more tweaks, and I think we are good to go. All right, so let's um, get rid of that one. Oh, there goes another... Another rocket. Uh, oops. Just one more subtle thing to do down there. Actually, give us a, an oil input. Okay. So we copy that, make it a blueprint. Put that in there. Okay. So 20 oil refiners, 384 underground pipes, 294 normal pipes, 22. Chem plants, some power poles, some lights. Okay, and I need another seven lots of each of them. All right. All right, so that is enough stuff, I think. Um, so I did take some extra pipes. Um, I think I would be happier, though, if I've just got a few extra pipes. Also, I want to take some pumps with me. Um, just to help make sure I've got good throughput. So um, oh, let's just take a few hundred of them, a few hundred of them, and as for pumps, um, where are they? They are here. Uh, steel engine units and pipes. I'll pinch that steel. I've already picked up some pipes, so I just need some engine units. That will do nicely. Okay, I don't think I really need that many, but whatever. Alright, um, let's head back and get that built. Right, so what we're going to do, first I'm just going to pick that up. So I've got these four coming out this way. I think what I'm going to do, uh, let's just have a look. Yeah, if I sort of plop these down here-ish... And I can pull water from down there. And... Yeah, and then I can take the resulting petrol down south where I've got these two coal deposits. 54 million, 28 million. There's a 76 million over there. Okay, so let's see. Where do I actually want this to go? Let's put it, like, there... Four, five, six, seven, eight. My bots have a lot of work to do. All right, there we go. So now I need to feed oil in on the leftmost line of each of these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pump. I'm going to put one there, one there like that. And have that go there. So once that's powered at least, that should equally pump to both of both of those lines like that. So just for good luck I'm gonna have a whole heap of pipes there as well. Okay, so we'll make sure all of those are connected to power. All right, and then we need to get these four lines to those four lines. Uh, so I'll, I might rejig how I've done things over here, actually. Okay, so the, now these ones out the left are going to be my actual output lines, and the ones at the top are going to be my balance lines. Okay, so I want some pumps here as well. Yeah, definitely overdoing it with the pumps, but I do not want throughput to be my limiting factor. All right, there we go. Uh, we want some power over here for these pumps as well. That is 
not tricky at all. Then we need some water. Okay, so let's come down here. Uh, now, to make this a little bit easier for myself, I did bring a little bit of landfill with me. So let's see if I can give myself a nice flat coastline to work with. And I want eight of these. Not them. I want eight of these. There we go. And more pipe to ground. I am very quickly going to run out. Still didn't bring enough underground pipes. As I bought nearly two and a half thousand of the things. No, but more than two and a half thousand of things. I bought nearly three thousand of them. Still wasn't enough. All right. Uh, but we'll do a similar thing with these guys. Let me just figure out where I want these pumps to be. All right, so I have finished laying stuff out. We are still many, many pipes short, but we've got the water coming down, f or coming up rather, from down there. Uh, turns a corner here and goes into the system. We've got the oil coming from the right, which turns various corners and goes into the system. And we have the petrol coming back out of the system into eight lines here. Now, because this is eight lines of... Um, completely cracked and converted oil that is eight lines of 390 petroleum per second and that should be able to feed 156 chem plants making plastic if we have a look at the recipe there uh, that is used at 20 per second and if I do 390 times 8, that gives us 3,120. Divide that by the 20 per second that it uses, and that gives us 156. Um, so this thing will also need to get 156 coal per second, which is not a small amount, um, but we'll see what we can do. So I need more chem plants. Um, I've also got a bunch of uh, wood and stone and stuff, which I don't need. Um, more underground pipes and some like more manufacturing stuff. Right, so back again and we've, or oh, I have filled in those pipes. I have just realized though that I'm missing some ordinary pipes. So bear with me while I just fill those in. Okay, so as I said, each of these eight columns gives us 390 petroleum per second. Um, which can supply, uh, so th if, if I do 390 divided by 20, that gives us 19.5 um, chem plants turning petroleum and coal into plastic. So, yeah. So probably what I will do for that is something along these lines. How many have I got there? That's 14. So if I do... So that should be 19. And every other line I'll have one extra. And I'll link the two inputs together. So that way, like between them, they've got, um, what do they have between them? Well, they've, they've got 39 between them, which is 19 and a half each. Okay. Um, so that would be making plastic like that. Um, however, uh, let's, so 19 and a half of these they require um well actually how many coal is it actually it's one coal each per second so if i go 
39. So I think if I can just saturate eight belts of coal coming in um, and have one belt go to each of them. No, in fact, four, saturate four belts of coal coming in and have one belt go to each. Oh, I have half a belt go to each line. That'd be 22 and a half and it only wants either 20 or 19. Okay. And then this will output two coal, uh, sorry, two plastic per second times 20. So this will output 40 plastic per second or 38 plastic per second. So if I do um, all of that together, that should give me. 272 plastic per second I think 40 and 38 it'll give me 312 plastic per second which is slightly under seven belts so all of this will give me just a bit less than seven belts worth of plastic how am I going to do this I think I do something like that. I'll have the belt come in. Where do I want the belt to come in? I don't think it really matters. I'll have the belt come in at the bottom, I think. So that means that will be coming up that way. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Because the belt needs to be one away from that. So these pipes are going to have to come in separately. Like that with inputs and outputs, like that. And we'll need some power somewhere and an output belt, something like that. I think that is a good unit. So if I just bring that all the way down like that. Oh, this is not quite right there. Missed one in the middle. There we go. In fact, just for the sake of making things easier, I might just put 20 on each of them and some of them are going to run a bit slow then. Okay, so I then copy that and I want to put it, where do I want to put it? Actually, if I copy that there, i just match that up. There, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Okay, a little bit of belt work later, and we have um, eight outputs of the um, the plastic. Uh, and remember, that is effectively nineteen point five times two. So that's thirty nine plastic per second. Um on each of those belts so it's not the full 45 it's 39 on each um, and I've put that over this way um, just gonna move those around a little bit because that way I can then take these belts over this way where they will meet up with some of that copper to turn into red circuits Meanwhile, we need to actually go and get some coal now. So remember, we need effectively four compressed belts. Um, so I did, in the train, pack some mining equipment. Let's go and see where we can put this. Okay, so on this little stretch here, we've got 115 miners. And at, that's one every two seconds, isn't it? Um, not including the productivity. 
So 115 divided by 2. That's almost, in fact, that's enough to compress one belt and then a little bit. About one and a third of a belt. Um, so it, it gives us 57 and a half. And we need 158, I think it was. So we're going to have to utilize this one as well. Okay, this area managed to give us 187, uh, which is enough to do two belts. Um, but remember, like we've got these little ones on the outside that will run out pretty quickly. I would have thought. Uh, none of them are tiny. Hmm. But in any case, we do have that third one over there, another 76 million coal. So let's go and get that as well. Okay, so I am a few of the medium power poles short, but in here we have 227. So that is enough. So essentially, uh, let's see, if I do... Right, so this one here should be enough for 113 coal per second. So, if I get two belts out of this one, and one belt out of each of the other two deposits, that seems reasonable to me. Okay, so let's mix these down, I guess. Okay, so everything is now connected together. All I need is, I think it was, in fact I may even be able to handcraft them. Just. Yeah, just some medium electric poles over here. Uh, about 30 of them by the looks of it. We'll do that by hand and then we should be able to switch it on and make sure it works. Alright, so that's all done. Shall we turn it on? Okay. A little bit of a jump in power usage. That should be as... The oil pumps all turn on. Oh, you're missing some power. Okay, everything there seems to be moving. All the coal miners should switch on as well. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So... Ah, I see what's happening here. Each of these lines are not connected to each other. So... This should fix that. Okay, I don't see any more flashing there. Uh, you need some stuff. Okay, we're making plastic on most of the lines. Okay, this one's just kicking in. Uh, no plastic. Oh no, we are getting some plastic over there now as well. Ah, okay, so, yeah, at the moment, this is trying to fit, uh, what was it? 39 plastic all on one side of a blue belt, so that's not quite going to work. So what I need to do is go up 10, um, which is here. Let's, let's do this over here. Uh, so that's 10 there. So here, I just need to do that. No. Wrong way around. That. Which will put some on the other side of the belt. Why have you stopped? You shouldn't have stopped. No water? Do you... Oh, you don't actually reach. Well, at least that's an easy fix. There we go. Okay, things are turning back on there. Good. Right, so now I just need to fix this bit. So we put plastic on both sides of the belt, and then it should be done, I think. 
Okay, so this shouldn't be quite compressed, so everything should be able to remain empty. And yeah, it looks like it is. The reason that this is backing up back here is because that side of the belt is backed up. But yeah, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn, uh, what was it, three and a half thousand oil and four belts of coal into seven belts of plastic. I do not know why there was just a random stone on that belt. Hmm. Um, I will throw down a few more lights, I think. With the Afraid of the Dark mod I'm using, it's, it's not necessary, but it's, it's nice, I guess. Um, okay, that's, yeah, they, they seem to be f fill, filling up fairly evenly. This balancing system seems to work, which is nice. Yeah, okay. So, I think that is all we need to do on that. So then, we have... Um, let me see, if I just pop down you To make a red circuit... That's not a red circuit. To make a red circuit, we use two plastic two electronic circuits and four copper cables to make a red circuit. Now remember we've got eight belts of green circuits to work with. Um, now we've only got seven, seven odd belts of plastic. So if we assume we've got exactly seven belts of plastic this means we could get three and a half blue belts of red circuits but we'll want some for blue circuits as well in fact we'll want a lot for blue circuits okay I've been doing some numbers I think if we funnel just one and a third of our belts of plastic down here to go towards red circuit production and then use all of that and all of our remaining green circuits that will produce a saturated yellow belt of blue circuits. I will need to get some sulfuric acid as well, so we might use this for the sulfuric acid. Um, hopefully there's... Actually, what does sulfuric acid require? I don't even remember. Uh, well, sulfur, yeah. Uh, sulfur... Okay, no, I don't need coal for that, that's good. Um, yes, yeah, so we might use like that iron, that, to make sulfuric acid. And then make blue circuits. So if that's the case, we'll actually need more green circuits and more red circuits to actually make the modules, which is what all of this was aiming towards. Okay, so maybe we need to scale this up a bit more. I mean, a, a saturated yellow belt of blue circuits, 15 per second, it's it's not to be sniffed at. Like, these ones over here... Um, okay, they're productivity to hell, so they're going to be slow. So they take 10 seconds, and I've got 10 of them. So assuming this wasn't slowed down with productivity, this would be 1 15th of what I'm planning to make. 
Okay, well, in any case, I think the red circuits and blue circuits are going to come along next episode. So, uh, let me just have a quick look at pollution. Because I didn't push the biters back terribly far. Okay, but I think all of this is basically shut down now anyway. Yeah. Okay, so let me head home. Actually, just before I head home, how many rockets do these guys have? Enough. They have enough. Um, okay, let's head home and see what this new spot. See what this new Spidertron is all about. Alright, so home, please. All right, so here we are home. Uh, let's see, what does this new Spidertron take to make? In fact, where is it? Um, is it on this menu? There it is, the Immolator. So we need 150 low-density structures. Uh, oh, some refined concrete. Uh, there we go. And I, yes, I suspect I will need some of this stuff so chemical plants do i have any chemical plants left on me yes i do okay anyway let's pop it down there we go this is ammo it doesn't say what it ta Ooh. oh my okay Okay, that does actually hurt the factory. Hmm. Um. What did this have to say about it? Uh. Press Shift F while driving to create a wall of fire. Ground scorching can be disabled in the mod settings. So, let's see. Mod settings. Uh. Per player? Is it a startup setting? Probably. Um, okay, does the... Does the Ghost Weaver do more than it did? Okay, we'll have to look at the Ghost Weaver again as well. Because this is new. I think last time it just had a... Um, it was just like extra space for building but now it, it's got okay all right hang on uh how much does one of these cost um so rocket control units more low density structures some laser turrets okay all right let me gather this stuff together Alright, so I've made a little bit of flamethrower fuel, which is accepted by the, the, the purifier. So let's hop in. Yeah, that, that could probably be quite powerful. Um, also, the other thing, you may notice I've moved this. I made the mistake of testing out that shift F thing, um, and it, it, it does that. So I, I lost most of my bots. Um, let's see, uh, what does a remote cost? I can't remember. Spidertron remote. Rocket control unit and a radar. Well, I can afford that, apparently. So I'm also kind of curious as to whether this fire can actually like, start fires. It's hurting. Yeah, no, those, those, tr those trees are on, on yellow fire, as are my pipes, apparently. So it doesn't seem to hurt me. It's not just because I'm. I've got like shields on or something. Yeah, it's got 0% fire resistance. Uh, right, I need to put that back. So. Um, I will, I'll, I'll leave him down there for now. Also, I did make this guy, the Ghost Weaver. And he has a weaving beam and a reaping beam. Um. However, 
despite the fact that it, like, if I search up the ghost weaver, so it says it unlocks the weaver, but also recipes for the reconstruction energy shell, uh, cell and the disintegration energy cell. But if I actually look, wrong button, if I look in here, I cannot find them anywhere. It's a discharge defense. Yeah, like I've, I've even tried searching for it. Like if I just type in like energy, the only thing we've got are energy shields. Uh, if I try typing in cell, we've got a uranium fuel cell. And that's it. Um, recon, no recipes for reconstruction. Uh, disintegration was was it called? No. Yeah. So, despite having unlocked it, I don't actually have those recipes. So I'll have to have a think about what to do on that front. I might mess around with like some commands to like undo and then redo that research. Uh, I'll just make sure that I have actually. It does actually say I have done it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we'll probably look into that next episode. Um, I don't know... I, like, I, I don't think it'll be better than the Mark III. Like, if I open up... If I, if I go back to the Spidertron uh, researches... So... Like, sure, yeah, I mean, like, even the, um... <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading the description there. The, uh, even the description says that the Mark III is the ultimate Spider-Tron. Um, although, it will be interesting to see what, um, like, an Octatron made of immolators would do. Like, hopefully they wouldn't damage each other. Hmm. Experimentation is called for, I believe. But anyway, I think that is about it for today. Next episode... Ooh, that's an interesting icon. Next episode... Uh, also, yeah, this guy's got a little flame icon as well. Next episode, I will attempt not to interrupt myself over and over again. We will get started, or get continued, I guess, with the red circuit build. And we'll have a little bit of a play with the Spidertrons there from the Spidertron Extended mod. Um, if we have time afterwards, we may go into the Blue Circuit build as well. Because um, once I can get some mass production of modules, then I can start like actually building like final designs for Megabase. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. In the meantime, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Just before I go, I want to try this in a forest. It did surprisingly little damage to the trees. Although, you know, they are on fire. Alright, um, I'll do what I can to put out this fire. Thanks for watching.